Well, there's my ugly little Saturn in the background. Everyone's probably wondering why am I putting all this time and effort into that nasty old car. Paint's peeling, um, rusted out, been patching it up. This is a learning experience for me and I plan on someday restoring a car that I really will prize and uh, so I'm getting my experience on something that's not so critical. Here I'm dealing with my intake. I decided to go ahead and paint it. Let me catch you up to speed on what I've done so far. This is the engine build. Got a rebuilt head on it and my oil pan which I painted with Duplicolor engine enamel. I'm working my way through other components, getting them cleaned up, ready for assembly, and it's time to deal with the intake. Now, this is my old engine. This is the intake off of it. This is pretty much the same condition as the intake that I'm dealing with here. I wasn't going to paint it, but I found this stuff on sale uh, for two bucks a can. Rust-Oleum 500 degree primer and paint. And I'm going to be painting my valve cover too, so I figured, why not? So the first thing I did with the intake is I cleaned it up. And it was a lot of work. I was going to sandblast it, but it wasn't really worth the cost of the blasting media. Plus I didn't have it on hand and it's a rainy day, I wanted to work on it. Wire brushes, drills, this thing was a lot of help right here. Then I used tubing to plug the uh, fuel injector holes and masking tape to cover other things. So as you can see, this is far from perfect, but I had put a lot of time into cleaning it up and quite frankly I got tired of it, so I'm going to call it good. Without sandblasting it, I don't think I can get it much better than this. I'm going to start with the primer. Rust-Oleum says this is fine to use on aluminum, as long as your surface has a rough texture. Seems to be print spraying out pretty thick. So I'm going to do a couple light coats as they suggested. Seems to be getting really good coverage. Trying to make sure I get down inside all the little nooks and crannies. There's a lot of them here. Alright, here's the first coat of primer applied. Every time I'd look around, I'd find a little part that I missed. So this first coat is kind of thick, but not too bad. Now I'm going to let it dry. Instructions say about 20 minutes, and apply another light coat. I've got my two coats of primer, and it's dry to the touch. The instructions clearly say to recoat in less than an hour or more than 24 hours. I'm running up pretty close to an hour here because it's not very warm out today so this dried kind of slow. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the orange stuff now. <laughs> 